Welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time we helped Sadie get revenge on some of the last remaining O'Driscolls. That's not what I meant to do. You're a brave girl. And we helped the photographer dude get some pictures of wolves and not get eaten. Oh, and I did not look up the Litchfield repeater. I'm pretty certain it's supposed to be a Henry. With that golden handle and the load and the feeding port being at the top, I'm fairly certain that is meant to be a Henry Golden Boy. Although I don't know when they were founded. Alexa, when was the Henry Rifle Company founded? This might answer your question. Henry Rifle was manufactured by U.S. Repeating Arms Company. It was founded in 1981 by Winchester Repeating oh. Arms Company. It's 38 years old. Did that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Correction! Henry was founded in 1981. They are a subsidiary of Winchester. Ignore my ignorance, for it is massive. So it's clearly not a Henry. Well, it, it might be a Henry, but Henry is not. Is more of a. Is actually more of a modern rifle. Henry is one of the better rifles if you're gonna get a repeater, but you're gonna pay for them. So if you're looking to get a lever action rifle, a repeating rifle, I would recommend a Hamarlin because they're typically they poor because they're called a poor man's Winchester. What's there? Rattlesnake. Well, just leave it alone. Rattlesnakes are probably the least aggressive snake, generally speaking. Generally speaking, let me be clear on that. Generally, legendary animal territory. I don't really feel like hunting a legendary animal right now, so... Probably another rattler. Anyway, rattlesnakes, they want to be left alone. They don't want to deal with you. When they rattle their tail, that is their way of telling you to fuck off. Because they don't want to mess with you. They're telling you, fuck off, I don't want to deal with you. Leave me alone. Because it takes them well over a week to actually build up venom. Yeah. And if they waste it on you, they gotta go hungry. So they would much rat they would much rather not deal with you. Because people suck. I mean, you have some that are just downright mean, like a rock rattler. But generally speaking, rattlesnakes just don't want to bother with you. Oh, and these weird pools. Yeah, these things are all around Yellowstone. They're kind of weird. 
They're like volcanic or something. use weapons in this area. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm in the reservation. Thank you for coming. Of course. The king's son. The chief, he's, uh, he's very... Upset? Angry? Annoyed? Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. Come in. Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. I lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more. That's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. Leghorn, ch Leghorn chicken. Those things are mean. You know the cartoon Foghorn Leghorn? Yeah, he's a Leghorn rooster. And they're frickin' mean. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but... If we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, 
He'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay, knives and arrows it is. And tomahawks, of course. Okay. I left two canoes down river. In case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <laughs> You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. I know. We're just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. That's See true. That? Or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, uh, I like Rain's Fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's Fall is in a tough situation. And that's for Dutch. <sighs> I gotta try. I own that at least. I don't I don't know what to think about Feel Dutch that? right now. There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got him. More to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw it, Doc. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die, hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way... It is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all of them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. We need to get across this river. Mm. Just here should be okay. The water is shallower, but the current still looks strong. So, be careful. I wonder if they make a third... if they ever make a third Red Dead Redemption? If it would be a prequel before this. To play up to the events. To know all these other people Arthur's interacted with. Are you where right? it yeah, ends so. on the Blackwater that job so you can know what happened. Up here. Follow me. Uh, I honestly doubt it. You were right about the damn rain. Mm -hmm. But it'd be, it'd yeah. be neat to see. But might help us with sneaking in there. Or they could add that as a the DLC to this told game. There was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. as ready as I'll ever be. Yes. Keep down and follow me. I still have my rifle. Patrol. It is the repeater. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. And this is a stealth operation. Those two at the gate first. You take one, I'll take the other. All I got left if you got right. Now. Good. 
Let's make our way around the back. Stick to the wall. There's a guard right above us. Well, we got two more ahead. One down here, one up in the tower. Let's take one each again. need to waste an arrow on him. Use your knife. I've got this one. Now keep moving. I ain't gonna be able to use the bow on this one. Or the tomahawk, excuse me. Alright. Good. The jail should be just down here. Put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. You should have a fire okay. in the walkway up there.
Arthur Morgan? Charles? Is that you? Look for the keys. You have to get me out of here. We're gonna get you out. I'll check the table, Arthur. You search the body. Got him. Come on. <clears throat> Your father sent us. My father? He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Uh, whoa, no. whoa. I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, cover's blown. TNT works.
I think we lost them. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father, even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front, let me take you back to your father. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No mention. Dutch. And now Arthur's cold. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. I'm near Valentine. Huh. And Hamish Sinclair wants to do another hunting run. Well, I'm gonna run into Valentine real quick. This isn't even my horse. My horse. Where is my horse? Oh, my horse is right up there. Well, you know what? I'll just walk to my horse. You know, since she's right up here. Where are you, girl? There's my blue car. Here, get the jacket on. But yeah, let's go right into Valentine's gunsmith and tavern and whatnot. And actually, do some work. Oh my god, your stomach's empty, Arthur. Suppose it has. Uh, my Litchfield repeater. It just ain't no way to fine tuning your gun, you know. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. Again, there's not really much of a point. It doesn't help be accuracy a little this. bit. Scope. I'm not even gonna bother. Smart addition. I don't know if I want to wrap or not. Let's look. I, I like the metal as it is. Personal touch with some engraving.
Jacob Worth is a friend of mine. I admire him, but he's just about the worst poker player in all of Valentine. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Yeah, I just did. Thank you. Oh, hell, mister, you look like you've been all whiskey and no stew. You all right? Uh, I've been better, but I'm okay. All right, well, let me know what you need. Oh, now I can buy the mouse, sir. And the Litchfield, which I already own. And the Carnico. How about a repeater shotgun? Yep. Why not? <clears throat> Go ahead and put a wrap on this one. I like the way it looks, but let's give it a nice engraving. Well, actually, I quite like that. Ooh, a gold comes out nice. You don't see repeating shotguns very often. Thanks for your assistance. I'm just taking a look at it. That's a beautiful weapon. A repeater shotgun's a bit rare. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2. As I head back north up to good old Hamish, do another round of hunting before doing whatever Dutch Vandaland wants with me. Seriously, I need some rest from the insanity. But that's the job for next time. I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.